Hey folks, Micah McGee here. This video is a video by request from you. Caleb is going to set some traps today around on the back side of this corn. We left this particular patch of corn for the deer and for wildlife in general, but it's getting hammered by a couple of nest predators that we need to clean up before the quail and the turkey start having babies hatch out next spring. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to, ha we're going to try to go for possums and raccoons. That's what we're going for. And the bait we're using is eaten by both, but I think primarily possums are gonna take over. That's our hope anyway, that's our plan. Let's get out here and get with it. Okay, as you can see, something brought cob after cob after cob of corn in right here and laid down right here and ate every bit of it. I'll be honest, to me that looks more like the work of a coyote than a raccoon because coyotes always bring what they eat out of the field and eat it in the same place. But there's a main trail coming through right here. I think this is still a great place. It's right at the corner of the cornfield. So let's get her in here, Caleb. Just bring it over and let's try to slide it right in here. It might be good right here. Let's just find a good solid place to put it. I mean, probably could put it right here and then put lens and on it. That's right. You want to hold this? The main thing we don't want to the rock and roll. When they go in there, we don't want it to go in there. We want it to feel stable when he walks on it. We don't want it to That feels pretty good. It don't really move much. Okay. You want to tell them what we're going to use? Step right here and uh, open it up. And kind of show them and tell them what it is. Probably got to watch us in a recent video dove hunting. But we saved all the, every bit of the dove hunting. Yeah. No, shove, shove that wire back. Uh -huh. uh, so we've got the guts here from 30 doves complete with crawls. The crawls are full of grain that is starting to ferment. The grain smells very good and the guts smell good actually too. If you was a gut eating predator. Yeah. I just want to use half because we have two traps. going to work really good because okay, on a hair trigger they've been coming here for corn already and there's corn there's wheat there's all kinds of seeds and things in here digesting they're going to like that now what we want to do i'm going to take this cob I don't, I don't like to use my hands a whole lot i'm going to pull this away kind of clear this area out right here where they can first enter in and you got to make sure no sticks are in the doorway because you want that door to completely engage I'm just going to pull this here something I have done for a long time is you don't have to do a whole lot just a little something like that blend it in. Alright, let's go set the other one, buddy. That'll be fine. a nice low place for them and also as you mentioned that there the trail is very well worn right here so let's see about this okay. all right 
trails here, so they're going to be right there. Three tins. I caught them on a deer trail. On a deer trail. <laughs> That's interesting. Do you think it was just because three baby uh, young raccoons were hanging out together? you said your trap on a hair trick. Now this is the trail going through here and it's kind of like the trail going into the trap. Okay folks, it'll probably take you a couple days but whenever we catch some we'll show you what we caught. I hope we catch some nice young possums because they take really good fries. All right, I'm here with Caleb. We're here to check the traps. Let's go see if we caught anything. Well, I can see right off the bat we didn't get anything with this one. Still open. Okay, let's go check the next one. Ah, oh, good. Hey, Posse Possum. We were after you the whole time. Did you know it? All right. Can you carry that cage or do you uh, want me to carry it? Mm, I probably can carry it. You want me to carry it to the truck? We're going to take it home. Yeah. Okay. You hold the camera and I'll get him. This is just the right size for frying up and eating. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We don't shoot them and throw them out if we can help it. It's a waste. My goodness, they're good. They're just as good as KFC. Let's go. I'm going to get the other trap real quick. Okay. Well, as you can hear, the dinner bell's ringing, and that means we gotta go. But I figured we'd show you what we got here. Nice little possum, he'll be tender. The truth of the matter is, there's not enough meat there on him to feed our whole family, so we'll have to catch another one. You ready to do that? Yep. Give me five. But for now, folks, that's all we've got for you. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.